Hello viewers. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we will be exploring the site-wide settings for cashback on your website. Cashbacks are a great way to build your user base and hence it is important to configure all your settings correctly. So, let's get started. First of all, you need to go to your WordPress admin panel. Then go to Cashback and click on Site-wide Settings. It will take you to this page. The first thing we see here is Transaction Currency. This is the currency in which your sale value will be displayed. You can use any currency here. For now, let's go with Dollars. Let me show you how these changes reflect in the user panel. When a new user registers and logs in onto your website, this is how his panel will look. As you can see, there is no currency visible here. Let's go back to the admin panel and click on save. Now, let's go back to user panel and click on refresh. As you can see here, currency is now visible for transaction amount. Next up, we have the cashback currency. First, let's check out the user panel. As you can see, there is no currency visible for the cashback amount. Let's change that. Go back to your admin panel. Enter the currency here. You can use any currency. For now, let's go with dollars. Now click on save. Let's go back to the user panel now and click refresh. As you can see, currency is now visible for the cashback amount too. Next up we have the currency position. This decides the position of the currency symbol. Right now, it's set to prefix and hence the currency symbol will be visible before the amount like this. Let's change it to suffix and see what happens. Select suffix and click save. Now let's go back to the user panel and click refresh. As you can see here, the currency symbol is now showing after the amount. Next, we have the minimum withdrawal option. Here you can set the minimal withdrawal amount after which the user will be allowed to withdraw money. Unless the user reaches this amount, he won't be able to access the withdrawal request form. As you can see, right now there is no minimum withdrawal limit. Let's check out the user panel. Here the user can access the withdrawal form. Now let's go back to the admin panel. Let's add minimum withdrawal amount. Let's say $100. Then click on save. Now, let's go back to the user panel and click refresh. As you can see, the user cannot access the withdrawal form now. Next up, we have the joining bonus. The joining bonus amount will be added to the user account as soon as a user gets registered with your site. Set it to zero if you wish to disable this feature. I have set it to $30 for now. Let me show you how it looks in the user panel. Just click on bonuses. Here you will be able to see the joining bonus and any other bonus that the user received. Next up, we have the referral type. If you choose fixed, the referrer will only get the fixed referral amount once when the referred user withdraws his earning. If you choose percentage, the referrer will receive referral bonus for lifetime in the form of a percentage amount on each withdrawal by referred user. If you have chosen fixed as your referral type, you need to enter a fixed amount here. For example, $50. If you have chosen percentage as your referral type, you need to enter a percentage here. For example, 10%. However, please note that if you set this to zero, no referral link will be created. Let me show you how the referral link will look in the user panel. Let's click on refer and earn. Here the user will be able to see the referral link which he can share with other people. Now let's go back to our admin panel and enter the referral bonus as zero. Then click on save. Now if we go back to the user panel, the refer and earn tab should no longer be visible to him as you can see. Let's go back to the admin panel now. For now, let's keep this as 10%. Select yes here, if you want the referrer to see the earnings of the referred user. Select refer and earn from this drop down. This is the page where the users will be taken to when they click on a referral link. They can then register from this page. Let me show you. 
Let's go to the user panel. Now click on refer and earn. Copy this link and paste in the URL box in a new tab. It will take you to the refer and earn page like this. Next up, we have the cashback message color option. You can choose the color in which the cashback message will be displayed from here. Let's check out how it looks before making any changes by going to your website. Now let's go back to the admin panel and select a different color. Let's go back to the website and click refresh. As you can see, the cashback message color is now changed. We have a detailed video on how you can customize the cashback messages for different stores. Link will be in the description box below. Here you can select the payment option that you want to make available for your users. You may select from the existing options, or you can add a custom payment option by clicking here. You can choose the payment name and also add new fields by clicking here. Lastly select yes here if you wish to show the login slash register button on your website. Like this. For now, let's select yes. Then click on save and your setting will be saved. That's all for this video. For more such tutorials, please subscribe to our channel.